Okay, in this video, we're gonna be doing Calc AB problem set 19. There's a link to the problems and a playlist of all the problem sets in the description below. Uh, let's uh, let's get going, let's see what we got. All right, the position of a particle is given by x of t is 8t cubed minus 21t squared plus 15t minus one. We wanna find the distance traveled on zero to one, and then we wanna know if the speed is increasing or decreasing at t equals two. All right, so distance is the harder one. I always tell myself that. Distance is harder to find than displacement. Displacement would just be x of one minus x of zero and we'd be done. Distance, you gotta worry about the fact that maybe velocity changed. So like sometimes you're going forward, sometimes you're going backwards, who knows? We're gonna know. So what we're gonna do is find the velocity and we're gonna start by saying that V of t is x prime of t. You've gotta make that connection. After you make that connection, you're kind of like good to go. So we just power rule our way through this. Um, did I use a calculator to factor this? Who could say? Um, but anyway, it factors into three times the quantity 2t minus one times the quantity 4t minus five. Now we need to know when v of t is equal to zero. So v of t is equal to zero. You can just look at this and be like, t is definitely one half, t is definitely five fourths. There's an issue with five fourths though, right? Because we're finding this has traveled on zero to one and five fourths is bigger than one, so that's out. All right, so we have these little segments where we're moving, like from zero to one half, the velocity is something, positive or negative, it doesn't really matter for me. Uh, it's positive, but like, it doesn't matter. Um, and then from one half to one, the velocity is a different sign. So what we need to do is account for basically displacement on each of those, but we only want positives. So we're gonna throw an absolute value. So I'm gonna say uh, the distance is the absolute value of X of one half minus X of zero. So that's one little segment of travel plus the absolute value of X of one minus X of one half. The absolute value takes care of, you don't have to worry about if your displacement was positive or negative on that little interval. And then I, again, just kind of use a calculator to find nine halves. You could plug it in, but it just didn't seem worth it, especially with that like cube. Actually, looking at it now is probably not that bad, but I didn't even try. All right, is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing at t equals two? To know if speed is increasing or decreasing, we need to know the sign of the velocity and the sign of the acceleration. If they're the same, speed is increasing. If they're opposite, speed is decreasing. So that's what we need to do. All right, so A of T is V prime of T. You gotta connect these things or the people who grade these are like, how do we know? Even though everyone knows that. Gotta play the game. That's like one of those little games you have to play. All right, so that's our acceleration. Now I need to find V of two and I need to find A of two. V of two is going to be, I'm using the factored form. It's actually, it's always almost always easier to plug into factored forms. Um, so that's why I did that. Is that right? Eight minus five is definitely not seven. I think that should be uh, three times three times three. I don't know why I have seven there, right? Because that should be four times two. You know what I bet happened is I like wrote three so many times I just started thinking that it was like three. To delete you or erase you. And we're gonna change you back to three. But the key thing is, I mean, you should always strive to be correct, but uh, we made the correct inference here. The velocity is greater than zero. So like what happens to you there when someone's grading it? Hard to say, depends on who's grading it. Uh, like I might not even notice, or if I did notice, I might just like, you know, put a question mark next to it or whatever. It's not like the biggest mistake. And also like, we're looking for a bigger idea here than arithmetic. Or am I just making excuses because I got it wrong? I don't know. But velocity and acceleration both are, uh, oh, look at that. Did I do it again? I did, at some point in this problem, I just started thinking that the number we were plugging in was three. Too many threes, I got threes, threes on the brain. All right, let's cross this out. We'll make this two, but oh, this is this is the problem. I'm like scaling this, you can't, uh, maybe you can, maybe you can't tell, um, but anyway. Okay, so we got greater than zero, greater than zero. V of two, A of two, both have the same sign. Therefore, speed is increasing at t equals two. If they're both negative, we would also say speed is increasing. All right, next problem. The average rate of change of f of x, average rate of change, remember, is algebra one slope, on uh, one to five is eight. If we know f of five is four, find f of one. All right, so let's just set it up. So it should be f of five minus f of one over five minus one is equal to eight. And this is just an equation, right? The only thing we don't know is f of one. So we plug in the things that we do know and we solve. And that's a little boring, but like things come up. 
All right, write the equation of the tangent line to f of x equals natural log of the quantity 3x squared plus 1 at x equals negative 1. All right, so we're going to need to know the value of the function, and we're going to need to know the value of the derivative. Let's do it. So the value of the function is just going to be f of negative 1. That's going to be the natural log of 4, and I'm going to leave that. Natural log of 4 is 2 times the natural log of 2 because 4 is 2 squared, and then exponents become coefficients. But I don't think that's important here. Um, f prime. All right, so chain rule. It's going to be the derivative of 3x squared plus 1 over 3x squared plus 1. It's 1 over u times the derivative of u. Um, and now I'm going to plug in negative 1. So f prime of negative 1 is going to be negative 6 over 4, which is negative 3 halves. And then we need to write the equation of the tangent line. I'm going to do it in point slope form, and I'm just going to show you. So the tangent line is y minus the natural log of 4 equals negative 3 halves the quantity x plus 1. And there you go. All right. So that's the end of this problem set. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.